In today's video, I'm going to show you how to do the quick unboxing and a complete setup of your Epson Workforce Pro WF3820 printer. So this printer is capable of copy, print, scan and fax. So I'm going to show you how to do everything in a step by step manner. So let's start with the unboxing. So this is the software installation disk. So connect the power cable and press the power button. We can move the screen like this. Now go to the touch screen. Select the language English. Select your country. So you can select the format and you can enter the date. Select the time format and enter the time. Now we have to install the setup in cartridges. You can lift the printer from this side and it will hold itself and lift it until you hear a sound. That's a lock sound. Now make sure you take the ink cartridges out of the plastic packaging. So just tear it from one end and take it out. Also remove the seal. That is this seal. Now repeat the process for all four ink cartridges. Make sure you definitely remove this seal. Ink chamber is there. So that is the ink chamber. Let's start with the black. The chip should be facing that side downwards and it's like this. Put it straight down and press it until you hear a lock sound. Match the number or the alphabets. All four ink cartridges are installed properly. Now we have to lock it. So press it down and let it go itself so it will close. Now go to the printer screen. So it's going to take around 5 minutes for the setup. Click OK. Select paper size and type of paper source. Click OK. So we are going to use a letter size and just a plain paper and the cassette tray. So that's OK for us. Now there is a fax setting wizard. If you want you can do it now or you can proceed later once you have the fax line. So set up a letter. Remind you later. Yes. You should be able to see the main screen of your printer. Now we can start using it for copy, print and scan. Copy is very easy. We can do that. But if you want to do the scanning but we can just use a USB or we can scan to the USB. I'm going to show you how to do the Wi-Fi setup so that we can use it for wireless setting. So click on the Wi-Fi on the top and you will see there are two options that is the Wi-Fi and the Wi-Fi direct. So select Wi-Fi recommended. Start setup. Wi-Fi setup wizard select your Wi-Fi network enter password once you enter the password click on the start setup setup is complete click on the close button and go to the home screen our printer is available on our Wi-Fi network. Now we have to add it in any device for wireless printing and scanning. For example, I'm going to use a Windows 10 laptop. We have to add this printer. So go to the start button. 
click on the settings on this screen click on the bluetooth and devices scroll down and click on printers and scanners on the top click on the add device epson workforce 3820 series select it and add device so it's connecting printer is installed it is ready scroll down and look for your installed printer that is epson 3820 select it and you should be able to see some details so before we do printing and scanning we have to install the pages so go to your printer so that's the cassette tray adjust the size print test page you can simply click on it and it will send a command to the printer printer is working and it is connected for scanning we have to download the software and driver in our windows laptop so go to the web browser now type in epson dot com go to the epson website on the top section you have to type in your product number 3820 and click enter and you should be able to see your workforce printer click on the support in the support we have to go down and look for the drivers and utility combo package installer and click on the download button Once you download it, open the file. So start the installation. It will install the recommended drivers. Click next. Agree for the terms and conditions. Click next. Next. Finish setup. We can close these windows. go to the start button select all apps go to the epson epson scan tool and here we can see our epson workforce 3820 scanner or printer default setting scanner glass or just automatic document feeder i'm going to use adf tray now let's start the scanning place a page on the ada screen so it should be like this and slide it in and you will see the main screen lights up now go on the laptop window and click on the scan icon scan is complete if you want you can add more pages or you can simply click on the save button once you click on the save it will open the location and now we can open our scanned document double click on it and here you can see so this way we can do the scanning so overall it's a very good printer for home or office use and you can do the copy print scan also a fax with it and it's very easy to connect with the wifi network once you connect it you have to add in any device and then you can start using it thanks for watching